This is a very big antique on wheels and pulled by a horse. So it's a horse-drawn omnibus. And in this video, you're gonna get a taste, a feel for what it was like for your ancestors traveling on public transport in around 1890 with no health and safety. Keep watching, you'll soon discover why our ancestors were an awful lot more agile than we are. Have you ever wondered what it might be like to ride in a proper 19th century Victorian omnibus? You know the kind of thing, this is what it looks like, and it is a remarkable place to be. I've got to tell you, not only as a passenger inside and above, yes, literally on top of the domed roof, but also as the driver. The driver's seat is horrendously uncomfortable. I'll show you that in a minute. And I've got to say that riding in a omnibus 100 odd years ago, you had to be relatively fit because to climb up those stairs, which I'm going to take you up in a second, and to sit and get onto the driver's position, you almost need to be an acrobat. Incredible experience. Here we go. Okay, stand back. This is what your ancestors saw on a daily basis if they lived in a town or a city in the Western world. So think of the heights, think of the movement, the suspension, it's gonna rock all over the place. And when you jump on board, it's probably moving. So let's do that. Let's jump on. I mean, it is just incredible. And it is really a thing of beauty as well, isn't it? Look upstairs. We'll go upstairs in a second. But let's get on and we'll have a look on the inside. Remember, it's probably moving when your great, great, great granddad and grandma were using these things. So it'll seat 18 people inside in relative comfort. You've got some grab rails on the top there. Latted floor you know, no central heating, quite obviously, no air conditioning. It will be as cold in here as it is outside, if not even colder. They were like refrigerators, these things. But wonderful to touch the same poles that, you know, people long gone used and touched. Now look at the, the narrow steps. Again, imagine this thing moving and rocking like a ship. And wait till you see the roof. That is the roof. It's a domed top. There's some latting there, maybe for drainage and a little bit of grip. Wooden benches. You get 20 people above. Wait until you get an idea of just how high up you are here. Imagine just squeezing, you know, pouring rain, squeezing down. Now I'm filming. There's a little bit of the filming setting up. If you're watching in Britain and you know Coronation Street, you'll know Melanie Hill and Peter Gunn, the two actors, fabulous people. We're filming here today with them. This is the driver's seat. <laughs> Look at that. No seat belt. Again, zero health and safety. Let's get back off. Now this, again, I want you just to imagine, please, that this thing is moving. We're not in the safety of the Transport Museum in Manchester. It's moving, it's raining, it's sleeting. People are pushing and shoving and you're trying to get off this thing. It just, uh, people today, we're so soft compared to our ancestors. Take a look in there. And leap off to the safety of terra firma and take another look at something that again was very ordinary to your ancestors but extraordinary to us. And before I forget, I just want to show you the driver's position. So this is how the driver gets down onto his seat, clamber over to the left there. There is the seat. How comfortable does that look? A couple of grab rails and that's about all you've got. This is the driver's view, great elevation. But imagine again the weather. Goodness me, we're so soft these days. So I'm going to sit in the seat. There you go, a bit of a footrest there, brake. Absolutely horrifying. 
Um, then when he gets off, there's the seat. Look at that. Very, very uncomfortable. And I, I can tell you it's very uncomfortable. So when he gets off, what the driver does is simply clamber over the rail, pushes his way past <laughs> the passengers and leaps off the back like a circus performer. There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time, I'm David Harper. Cheerio.